this is an easy question. This GMAT problem solving practice question is from averages. Let's take a look at it. If the mean of five numbers, 28, x, 42, 78, and 104, for these five numbers, the average is 62, what is the mean of 48, 62, 98, 124, and x? We should be able to solve this question in two ways. The second method, we'll look at it subsequently, works only when we have a question of this kind. We'll look at what this kind particularly is when we look at that method. In the first method, what we're going to do is, we're going to use this information to compute the value of x, that's step number one. And then we'll plug in the value of x and then compute the average for these phi numbers. So let's get started with method one, compute the value of x. The average of these phi numbers is equal to 62. Essentially, if I write it, it's going to be 28 plus x plus 42 plus 78 plus 104 divided by five is equal to a 62. So 28 plus 42, 70, 148, 252, 252 plus x, cross multiply, 62 into 5, 300 plus 10, 310 is what we have. So the value of x is equal to 310 minus 252, which is equal to 58. We're not interested in the value of x, x is a 58, but what we're interested is in computing the average of these five numbers, which includes an x. Having got the value of x, let's plug that in into the second set of numbers. 48 plus 62 plus 98 plus 124 plus x, which we computed to be a 58. Let's write it here. 58 divided by 5 should give us the answer. A little bit of calculation, conceptually very, very straightforward. 62 plus 48, this is 110. 110 plus 98 is a 208 plus 124, 174, 182 is what I have divided by 5. 200, 380, 390 by 5. 390 by 5 is equal to 78. So the average of these five numbers, which is 48, 62, 98, 124, and x is equal to 78. That's the answer. Should take us about, what, 45 seconds to a minute, right? Bit of calculation, but not very difficult. Now we'll go to second method. Right. Sometimes being switched on really helps. I'm writing down the first set of numbers. 28, 42, 78, 104, x. For this, the average is 62. We'll come to that. This is set 1. What is our set 2? Let me write set 2. 48, 62, 98, 124, and x. I said the second method will work only for a question of this kind. What is making this kind? Look at second set. Leaving this x alone, 48 is 20 more than 28. 62 is 20 more than 42. 98 is 20 more than 78. 124 is 20 more than 104. So if you were switched on and noticed this, you'll quickly realize that in the second set, 20, 20, 20, 20, we have 80 extra compared to the old one. So if the old average, right, I'll call it as A1, is equal to 62, the old sum will be equal to 62 times 5. The new average is basically what we need to compute. The new sum, if you look at it, it is basically going to be 62 into 5 plus 20 here, 20 here, 20 here, 20 here, an additional 80. So 62 into 5 by 5 would have been a 62 for the new average. 80 by 5 would add another 16 to it. So the new average is going to be equal to 78. The moment you recognize the four or the five numbers in the second set, each has been incremented by a 20. The sum gets incremented by 80. Therefore, the average is going to go up by that 80 by 5. This extra 80 is going to be divided equally among the five numbers. So the average is going to be 16 more than the old average. Old average is 62. New average has to be a 78. So method two works only if the numbers happen to be the way it were here. But being switched on always helps. If you realize this, you would have got the answer to this question in probably 30 seconds or even lesser. Choice A is the correct answer to this question.